Hello and welcome to the first Giga Gamers multiplayer. Today we're playing Battleforge within this four player mission. There's three of your humble staff right here. So, at the moment on the screen, you see me and Echos cooperating to blow up some bad guys. Because bad guys gotta be blown up, right? Oh no, my base is under attack. Of course. Attack. Guys, my base is under attack. What do we do? Oh no, we. Where? <laughs> In my base, oh, duh. Okay. That'll um, be fine. Yeah, over here. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're actually fine. It's okay. We cool. Oh, they're, they're attacking outside the walls. What's annoying? Ooh, monuments. Shotgun. Right. Um. Oh wait. Shit. I hit when I just pressed the wrong button. Just standard gaming thing, you know. <laughs> Here's, here's one, right? Like, you, you know, you know when you get, you know, you get like article ideas and people just post them. What, what is, what is the worst instance of wrong button you've ever had in a game? Here's one, right? Oh, uh, that's always got to be my stupid grenade buttons. <laughs> Halo Fear Two. <laughs> I want a melee. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that. I do that all the time. In fact, I, I do that more though in Unreal Tournament, because you know how in Unreal Tournament it's really easy to kill yourself, right? Because you've got the, uh, oh, you've got the yeah. rocket launcher, you've got the flat cannon. It's like, I'm just going to jump up and down near this wall here. Um, oh, I accidentally pressed pressed right, right, right mouse button. Oh, I'm now respawning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my kill streak went away, and all my guns. This makes me sad. Yeah. Huh. Apparently we're nowhere near this I wagon. was actually playing the original Halo for PC the other night. Oh man, I played that so many times. Like, I'm not even that big a Halo fan, but it I used to be just like one of the few games I had. Yeah. Like, the plot's okay, but the gameplay gets really repetitive. Yeah. I, I mean, the, to be honest, it's Halo, the plots get really repetitive as well. I mean, you've played Halo 2, right? It's the same game. Yeah, <laughs> like, I actually <laughs> never touched 3, though. I've played I've played three a few times. Played it mostly co-op. I in fact I've never played it by myself. That was boring as hell. Um, oh, like Halo is well, all co-op. I, I was poor growing up. Hang on, so don't go there yet. I was <laughs> tell me lagging about it. behind <laughs> each uh, console generation, so I never got to touch three. Well, I've I've only ever I've only ever owned one console, but it's my 360. Um, yeah, it is a shame they didn't release them on on PC. Hey, what about you, Amanda? I think you they released two. Well, they did, yeah. This cornholio is a real cornholio. Seriously. What is he doing? <laughs> so we, we've, I don't we've got, know. we've got this. He's just, <laughs> he's just wandering ahead. Well, he, he's actually being Where useful. Um, he yeah, you're sort oh, of meant to well, get up there. Oh, uh, I think this gold wagon's nearly, like, it's nearly dead or something. If that dies, I think we lose, so, uh... <laughs> Alright, I better go up there. <laughs> Whoa, Echos, what are you doing? <laughs> um, I thought you were right behind me. No, I, I went the other way, because that's the way we're supposed to go. Oh, great. <laughs> there are more, like, monuments and stuff down there. Don't worry about it, it's Void Pile. Um... I think I lost my nature orb. Oh, no. Yeah, they might have just... I've got a, I've got a unit down there, though, don't worry. I've got two units now, just in case. Uh, I'll stop moving down here. Yeah, I did. I'll just wish it back with the Dragon Balls. That works. Did you see much of the coverage from PAX? PAX, whichever one it was. Um, a little bit. Not, not enough. There's new footage of, uh... No, I didn't see a lot. There, 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 wasn't, there wasn't much new stuff that I saw. Um, uh, apparently there were a bunch of indie devs who, like, basically took over. They, 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 like, about a dozen of them banded together and bought one mega booth and made it this thing. Yeah. And then, like, apparently they, they completely stole the show. So, it's pretty good to see, like, indie games getting this proper prominence. You know what I mean? Mm, definitely. Definitely. I, I seem to prefer indie games more than the mainstream these days. Yeah? Why is that? I don't know. I think they're just not all about the money, really. Um, they seem to be more 
well, um, more about the actual game than yeah about actually making money. More honest. Mm. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I find they're more uh, concentrating on the gameplay, and mm. I mean, it, the, the game's worth nothing if it's not fun. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's weird because you get like, it's 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 such a complete like disconnect because you've got these these sort of games that get released every year or something, you know, Call of Duty type games, where it's this really expensive full-on experience but it's just a company making money and you get these indie games which yeah. are like something <laughs> made by the skin of someone's teeth and barely yeah. you know like these guys don't sleep for three months just to try and release their game but then you get these somehow much better and much more satisfying experiences sometimes weird mm. I, lo I love indie games I've bought I think I've bought all the humble indie bundles so far <laughs> Except the um, iOS ones, I don't have a smartphone. Like, I mean, those those are amazing idea. The humble indie bundles, just so many, so oh many cheap games. Oh my gosh, what is that? That's a race flame, <laughs> and you're going the wrong way again. <laughs> I'm down here. Come down here. We have power. Oh wires. no. Uh, this may help. Oh, I think I got him. No, he's not dead. Uh -oh. uh, but he's temporarily encased in ice. I love this game's ability to just let you encase things in ice when you want to. You know. Or turn you into pigs. Or turn you into pigs. But you know, you gotta encase things in ice, right? You know, you wake up in the morning. And then turn them into pigs. Encase things in ice. Yeah, and then turn yeah, you can do that. And then you can paralyze them. <laughs> it's just, you know, all in the day's work here at Battleforge HQ or whatever Battleforge has. <laughs> the forge, they have the forge. Okay, I just yeah, of course they sent do. all my Don't. troops to help, so Awesome! So the, the mists of Pandaria beta just opened. And apparently, I say apparently because I have first-hand evidence, it is just full of pandas <laughs> up in there. Like, seriously, you know, you, know the, you know the end of Kung Fu Panda, right? Where it's just the town full of random animals. That, that's World of yeah. Warcraft right now. Like, just <laughs> pandas, pandas and more pandas. You would not believe. Because of course, you know, everyone wants to try out the Pandaran monk. So everyone's playing yeah. Pandaren Monks. I was actually, uh, I never liked World of Warcraft, but I was tempted to try it just because of the pandas. <laughs> wow, that's that's a strong statement there. As many a Blizzard fanboy yeah. would disagree with that. <laughs> Trying it just because of the pandas, that's uh, dangerous <laughs> stuff. Apparently they've only got one European server, which would probably explain why the thing's chock full of pandas and lag. Um, unlike nothing else. <laughs> Oh, crap, crap, crap. Everything okay? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's big. What's that thing? That's, that's a your... tortoise thing. Tortoise? Um, he's got a Moloch. A tort. And, Ooh. wow, he's... he's our, our friend here has built some pretty big stuff. <laughs> this random guy. Ah, um, I'm going to stay near him. That's a good idea. Uh, he seems to have... So you, you take you take both those power wells, Echoes. Um, oh, okay. Bloody hell. So, yeah, the, there's one of, one of the fun things about my deck actually is that at the top end it's full of stuff like that, full of massive stuff. Um, unfortunately, you see that that big giant? Uh, where's he gone? <laughs> wow, our mate has a lot of lot of big stuff here. This is this, oh, is, yeah. this is awesome. I approve. Size really does. Oh crap! We got a huge army coming in on our base. Um, this is not good. This is very much not good. Uh, okay, are we going there? forward? Hang on, there should be there should be monuments somewhere, uh, but they don't seem to be. Hmm. Yeah, onward, we'll find them. It might be like up here. I think it might be up here. Either of you guys planning to get Fez now that it's coming out? 
Just we wanted to mention that. Um, I tried it. I don't think I'm gonna buy it though. No? Why not? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's definitely a try before you buy, but I'm not sure if I'll buy it either. Hmm. Well, let's hope there's a demo. I'd like to get it. I think it looks really cool. Um. Do we rush the gate now? Ah, uh, yeah, why not? I'll just steal this tower. I have a spell that lets me commandeer towers. It's really cool. Um. Oh wow, he really wow, has built had that. really big stuff. Yeah, I need, I need, I need, uh, I need some of that. Let's get the grass done. I have all this power. Why do I have so much power? The power it consumes me. <laughs> I'm just gonna build like my. I'm just gonna build like a unit cap right here. Oh, I just did. <laughs> Whoops. This game is pretty cool. Like, <laughs> so yeah, what, what do you guys think of it so yeah, far? I'm, I'm, to me now. What's that? I'm lagging kind of bad though. <laughs> lagging? Oh uh -huh. no. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I blew out a core in my processor a while back, so. Well, how did you manage that? That's some pretty serious, uh, serious damage there. I didn't though. know what thermal paste was at first. And uh -huh. so I'm like, ew, what's all this gunk on top of the CPU? <laughs> so I cleaned oh, no. that off. <laughs> and it oh. overheated really bad. And I lost some of the power. Oh no. That's awful. Well, at least it's not like completely dead. I guess you probably have more cores? Or something? Yeah, I got a quad core, so. Oh, fair. So grab one of these power wells, and we should find the next area, which is we. So we need. We've got. We've got. Don't go up there. That's where the boss is. Um, do not. Oh, okay. Go up there. Um, so that was a problem in games like this, isn't it? If you go the wrong way, you're like, oh crap, I just ran into a boss. Um, and yeah, we should go. We should go up. Uh, we should go up here. Probably not into that fiery cannon. <laughs> Wait a minute. There are like monuments in here that we can just build. And that. Uh, okay, he's just. This guy's just annihilating everything. That's cool. Let him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly knows what he's doing. Means more rewards for us, so I can't complain. No. <laughs> I don't know why I'm up ahead. I'm supposed to be following you. <laughs> it's okay. We'll just we'll just we'll go together. Oh. You like the, a meat shield. This stuff is dead. Um okay, so <laughs> we need to be going up here. Oh great. Everyone loves a meat shield, right? <laughs> I mean you gotta have a meat shield. I don't know why I don't know if I could function without my meat shield. Just sort of to Well where's my meat shield for my meat shield? <laughs> hmm? I need a meat shield for my meat shield. Well, I, I, you can't. That's just asking too much. I mean, meat shields are expensive. And but you said everyone needs a meat shield. Oh. Yeah, so but meat shields don't count. Meat shields. Yeah. You, can, meat you should shield. meat shield your meat shield if your meat shield really needs it. I mean, every 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 decent Yo, dog. meat shield will do that, surely. I love how we just got an army need, of like small stuff. Exhibit. It's a massive army of small stuff. Right, now I need some of them to die, because I, I just found two random monuments that no one had taken and built them. So, <laughs> I need to kill some of my units so I can build enormous things. Oh, these things look scary. That looks like a Gatling gun or something. <laughs> oh yeah, the big cannon. They're, they're sort of shelling the bit that uh, the the thing we're trying to protect. Oh, you mean that massive? Yeah, it's not going to hurt us though. It's an anti-air tower. Just kill it. Oh okay. Also, feel free to take those um, things. Oh no. Some of my stuff's being shot. Uh, oh, I'm under attack. Are you? I think. I think. Um, maybe not. <laughs> gonna build a grinder. Because grinders. 
Right, we should. Alright, uh, where are we going next? We should go back up to um, this bit and then just wait. Um, cause we. Oh, actually, actually, we should wait, like, here where the bad guys are spawning and kill them as they come out. Okay. It's probably a good idea. I need to free up some more unit cap. Unit cap is annoying. I mean, you know, I understand why it exists and all, but it's annoying. Yeah. So I've just built the wheel of gifts, which is like this thing that can make all your dudes do more damage or take less damage or regenerate. Um which is awesome. So grabbing some of those. Hey, because you've got like NPCs following you. It looks really funny. They like, look like they're trying to join in the party. Or oh, they keep getting they keep getting bored and breaking off. Because they reach like the end of their patrol routes or something. Now we shall destroy them. There ought to be more monuments than this. I don't know where they are. So that canyon full of fiery death is gonna kill me, right? Do not go in there. <laughs> In in general, okay. if you see fire, don't walk into it. It works in real life too, you know. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good general rule. Really? Yeah, yeah. I could have avoided all those third degree burns. I know, right? <laughs> like, once you realize this, you sort of, your life is never the same, man. Right? It's just like, wow, all that all that fire that could have gone with something else. Um, <laughs> what are we actually doing here? Where's where's the next where's the next orb monument? Oh no, you said oh, the they're up here, so I'm just right? Chilling out. Yeah, we should we should go and attack this boss now. Um, All right. Yeah. Because you know, bosses. What else do you do with them? Your are under attack. Kill more archers. Free up more unit cap. Build dragons. Uh, or actually cast human spells. That would be smart. Oh, enemies inbound, let's kick ass. Boom. What the hell are you all doing? I said attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the trials and tribulations of playing there. strategy games. So with this, we have to kill the healers first. Oh, what? What? I just killed the boss anyway. Okay. Never mind. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, both those monuments, you build them. I think one of the monuments right. I built earlier was meant to be mine, but it's fine. <laughs> I mean, it was meant to be yours, but, it, but it's okay. Um, so these, these, these big shiny dudes with axes, they're called grinders. Um, they're awesome. They, they heal. Yeah, they um, look awesome. Like, they heal themselves, depending on how many friends are near them. So, th so at this point, right, this is where we're ready to basically attack the boss now. Uh, although we need to get rid of these cannons first, I think, still. Uh, we need to get rid of this one. Which, how do we get up there? Like this. Okay. Uh, whoa! Oh, uh, wow. Our dudes are de deciding to be silly. Um, okay, let's clear out these, these NPCs and that fire trap and then move on up. I'm just going to steal that building. I like that. Um... Man, so many enemies laying siege to our base. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to delete some windweavers and replace them with a dragon. Uh, oh, um, what's his name's army just came through. <laughs> 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 so what we ought to do now Wait, is where are my go guys going? take out this cannon. Wait, come back, guys. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. Okay, everything, get up here. Uh, yeah, silly dragon, don't run into the bullets. Um, so yeah, this is the this is the point where you basically go up to the. Um, 
like to the north and prepare and then basically attack the boss. But before we do that, we need to get rid of this other cannon. Um, what was that noise? Uh, nothing. No. How mysterious. <laughs> I have noise cancellation cancellation on, so. Obviously, that proves I everything. tried. <laughs> Silly cannons, go away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's Cornholio, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, you're just gonna have to fight that. Oh god. Yeah, no, basically go no further than where he is right now. Um. Yay, I've got a bunch of troops. <laughs> Wow, he is just amazing. He's, a, he's, he's a got boss. tanks and fire turtles. <laughs> yeah, this is this is my standard approach to PVE as well. Just build all the big things. That's why I'm so rubbish at Supreme Commander because I don't care about anything except the experimentals. So I just lose because I get rushed. <laughs> I just get attacked before I can actually destroy anything. Um, oh, he's attacking. Shall we? Yep. So up here we have to kill some healers. And then the boss. And the idea is to basically engage all the healers at once, if I recall. Um, so that they don't um, heal each other. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> it's okay. There's, a, there's only four of them. We've got plenty of stuff, so... Um, I'll send my dudes over to the other side of the boss, over here. Basically, once we kill all the healers, then we can attack the boss himself. He, like, emerges from his cavern. Or we can kill him. Um, go this way. Now. Try not to stand in all the fire. Oh my gosh, all my fans are going off. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, Bassy. Bassy? It's like your computer's name. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of adorable, dude. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> is it Bassy as in like Count Bassy or? Oh yeah, my like god, they broke the him old, through. Famous. Like the old cow that still chugs along no matter how much you do what you do to it. You say that, but you've already blown up one of the cores. <laughs> well, she's still here. Do you want a hand there, Amanda? Uh, have some flowers. Um, huh. Yay, we killed the giants. Yay. High fives, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> like, we are so cool. We are so cool. Definitely. And we didn't talk about anything that was actually relatable to video games. <laughs> Yeah, well, no, we did. I think we did. We, we've, we've, we've talked about Wait. some video gamey stuff. It's fine. This gets edited, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, we have upgrades. Who wants which upgrade? I got... Tell me uh, which card, Which of these cards do you actually have? I, I kind of want... Brick. Which, which, which color of Northern Drake. Brick? Have you got the, have you got the um, orange one or the blue one? Because there's, like, different kinds of cards. I've got the Swamp Drake, and that's all I have out of these. Okay, you take um, that one, then. I'll give you that. Um, there you are. Our friend can have the... I don't know. Our friend can have the Necroblaster or something. Do you know I, Amanda, do you know which kind of Northern Drake you have? Uh, Look at him in the library. I don't know. Come here, where are you? <laughs> Just do a search for it. Uh, Northern Drake Dragonkin Dominator. What's the, what colour is the dot next to that? There's like a little red or blue orb. Blue. Okay. In that case, uh, well, let's give our mate the... Oh, he's already got it. I think the other guy already has half of these upgrades. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Uh, which one of the other two would you like? Um, Pyromaniac, probably. Okie dokie. And... Oh, the other guy already has that one. <laughs> Damn it. I'm just listening to him telling him. Turn the other one to gold or something. Yay! <laughs> cool, we have rewards. And the plot. That <laughs> plot thing is silly. I mean, the, the fluff is quite cool, but like, no one cares. Yeah. Oh, so what else? What else? What else has been in the news lately? There's always a... Uh, we could always beat the Mass Effect 3 horse. Uh. It's <laughs> pretty dead. <laughs> Do either of you care about that at all? No. No, I, I actually never played any of the Mass Effects. <gasps> Fair. Heathen. Although, pre that's a pretty big omission there, mate. Like, the Mass Effect games are pretty amazing. Well, I haven't played three yet. I was... Uh, so, like, I, I, didn't get it, I didn't get it on day one. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you play it, Amanda? I've, Mass yeah, I played, played one, two, and three, finished them all. Yeah, it's... What do you think of the ending? Um, uh, it could have been a lot worse. Fair enough. It wasn't this is probably true. I think everyone just put all the hopes on it that it was going to be some spectacular ending, and it really wasn't. But how can you live <laughs> up to that sort of hype? You can't really live up to that sort of hype, though. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, well, you I know, at least it got an ending because I'm yeah. still waiting for psyops. <laughs> psyops? Yeah, the mind game like, conspiracy. That was a great game for its time. It had like perfect uh, physics for psychic telekinesis and stuff. Uh huh. And they, like, he's got amnesia, the cliche, but. Then, uh, <laughs> at the very yeah, end, he's like, wait, I remember now. And then it's like, to be continued. And it's from, like, 2002. <laughs> and they never made a sequel. That is rubbish. That is such a rip-off. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, that's, that's quite funny, actually. Like, <laughs> the gameplay was great. <laughs> yeah, cliffhanger endings where they I don't know, make the a sequel. I know, the gameplay was great, but the story is just like, uh... So, Cliffhangers. Yeah, I hate cliffhangers. It's like, come on, you just thought of a better ending. Like, we yeah. know there's going to be a sequel, or it, and and you know if we don't, we don't care right now because you've just rubbed it in our and faces. And then there was God of War too. It's like that uh, ended yeah. you climbing Mount o Mount Olympus with an army of titans, and then oh, you have to wait for the third nice. one. And you have to buy an entirely new console to play it. <laughs> but at least they made a sequel, yeah. right? <laughs> at some point, they made a sequel. I quite like to play the some of the God of War games, actually. I could never get over the hype over the Assassin's Creed games, if I'm honest. Mm. Yeah. I'm just um. Well, starting the Assassin's Creed 2, I've put it off for that long, and I hate the controls to it so much. I keep jumping off walls and <laughs> just falling to my death all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, like a thousand times yes. Me too. I, it's really annoying. Like, I find... So, yeah, Assassin's Creed, it's like... So, I've, I've probably played about the same amount of it as you have, right? I've, I've played up to a roundabout the first assassination, which I haven't actually attempted yet. <laughs> because I know I'm going to be rubbish. Because the, the like the first few hours of the game are like yeah. just an extended tutorial, right? Um, and it's but it's really cool because you get to like wander around ancient Florence, I think it is, and like learn about sort of what it was like and stuff, right? Which is all really you know that's really cool. But at the same time, you're you you know when it actually comes to doing the you know playing the game, doing the actual work I'm meant to be doing, 
No, I'm, it's just I'm, gonna really, be I'm really, really trying annoying. to put it all off. There's only <laughs> and I'm going to fail. I need to get on it. Uh, that's thanks to my ex who uh, used my PSN account to get trophies and play games. So when we split, you know, oh, <laughs> um, obviously I kept my PlayStation and my account. So I've only got three trophies left to get on Assassin's Creed 2. So I'm just slowly going through that. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, fine, but I get, like, insert random game here. Why did I just run out of steam halfway through that joke? I hate when that happens. Like, fine, but I get trials here to do or something. And it's like arguing about achievements. Can you even do that? Like, share achievements between people? Um, like, what happens if you're playing multiplayer? And, oh, no, you yeah, both get achievements, don't you? You all do. It is. Oh, Little Big Planet is so much fun. I was only once I played this. I played this level that was like, it was just platforms floating in the water, but there were these <laughs> robot sharks that would like hurtle up from the water and try and try and eat you. But as they crashed into the platforms, they would basically everything would basically go flying. It was completely non-deterministic. Like everything was just pinballing around. It was so much fun because it was completely ridiculous. Like yeah, yeah, because you're just you're just trying you're just trying to get from one end of this this stretch of platforms to the other. Yeah, it but is. <laughs> <laughs> it's all going completely mental. You need oh, some healing, my friend. Sweet. Have some healing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I do my best. What else came out of PAX actually? Because there, there were a few oh, oh yeah that was it. The Devil May Cry footage like yeah have you guys played it um, yeah unfortunately oh, that i played sound good. a little bit of four and then I that's about four. it oh crap <laughs> I'm awesome like that. four is all right four is four is decent um it still falls into the same pitfalls mm. as all the other Devil May Cry games. I really hate. It is I really decent. hated three. Like it's you know the, the cameras. And his that. attitude. What a little punk. <laughs> I really should play. Uh, <laughs> he is a bit, isn't yeah. he? I mean, it's Dante. But I really should play Devil May Cry and Castlevania because those two series I've never actually played, but I've, you know, I've always known about them. Well, yeah. I'd probably go Devil May Cry first, get over the disappointment of it, and then try do Castlevania. <laughs> I've not, yeah, I've not played Castlevania. It's, I, I've, I'm not much of a retro gamer because I didn't, you know, have them when I was younger. So like, I'm not really, I'm not really up to speed on all no, those sort of, you know, games from the nineties. Mm. Spyro I mean, I know about and Crash them, Bandicoot are my retro. Um, but you know, I never played like. I I played Crash Bandicoot. I definitely remember playing oh, Crash Bandicoot. I, used to, I, I love that thing. Play them like, just playing it on like friends' PS2s and stuff. <laughs> I think I've got them. I've, I've got Spy, I've got Skylanders. That's actually really fun. I've got Spy, I've got yeah, I just like having the little but, toys oh yeah? to put on. <laughs> hey, cause you've got a unit left behind. <laughs> but Activision yeah. has totally <laughs> changed everything. Oh, toys are fun. Yeah. Like they changed their oh, so? looks, Spyros and Crashes. It was it's just. Spyro... Wait, Activision yeah, took over Activision, Crash as well. Well, first it went to Vicarious Visions, and I think co-published by Traveler's Tales, and then it got passed around a lot, and then Activision uh, right. ended up with it, and started raping our childhoods. As they do. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just As they do. Episode, uh, about Indiana Jones and the fourth film. If anyone's oh. seen that one. <laughs> yeah. That film is so bad. So bad. It was, it's like, <laughs> oh, it was aliens. Why was it aliens? Why is this necessary? My brain. Oh, there you are. We all need to go down here, huh? But I just got here. <laughs> well, now you have to leave again. <laughs> oh, well, I see. Oh, you're down there. Yeah, it is kind of weird the layout in these maps. But yeah, I actually kind of like the 
I mean, I don't, I don't, I can't say I like the the new Dante. Not that I compare him to the old in any particular way. They're just white-haired, loudmouth guys. Just, this one is just sort of more egregiously offensive than the previous one. It's just kind of more annoying. Although, did you see the the trailer about the like showed bits of the intro, where he like some demon like like shoots through his trailer or flips his trailer over or something, and he's like, he gets he gets he. Oh no, the, de the demon like throws his trailer at him and he like basically dives through the front window. He's like sliding through it. So the demon basically wakes <laughs> him up, so he's naked, right? But obviously, they, so the, the, the sort of random bits of floating, detri like pieces of pizza and stuff float past him at convenient places to like censor him, which <laughs> is really funny. <laughs> and he basically goes through the entire length of the trailer, like, like this. Sort of <laughs> floating nakedly through the air, just sort of grabs his clothes wow. as he passes them, <laughs> smashes through the outside, like the other window. <laughs> just like you missed. So I love the Devil May Cry games because they're just full of mental stuff like that. So no matter how horribly hard the gameplay is, like the next cutscene is always yeah. just such a treat. Makes it all worth it. I am really bad at those games though. I just, I just, I just sit there like hoping that. Jump, yeah. shoot, 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 <laughs> jump, shoot, 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 will work. <laughs> onwards. Oh, onwards the other way because there are mobs. Do you think uh, you're like that? Yeah, I mostly do. stay on the, Out of the single player kind of thing. Yeah, me too. I've always, uh. Yeah, I remember, I, like. Uh, oh, uh. You're always up? <laughs> I'm always. <laughs> Looking for PS2 gems because oh, it's yeah. like the game industry uh, was right. at that age One of those where <laughs> they weren't totally sold out yet, but they still had enough money to make pretty good <laughs> games. So, like, I've got a huge collection of yeah. PS2 games. I've sold nice. most of mine. Yeah, there, there seems to be a surprising number of people who do that, just play, sort of, just mm. stick to the older generation of consoles. Um, just because they, well, enjoy the games, I guess. Uh, I don't um, know, why do you do it? Is it just because you think the I games think are genuinely they better? I are or? better because like, the studios actually put love into them instead of just trying to cash them. That can happen these days, yeah. I mean, it can always happen. It could always happen back then. I mean, you get, like... Retro games, you know, especially there's a, there's a particular kind of gamer who just waxes lyrical about how gaming was so much purer back in the old days. And it's like no, most games were just sort of cash-ins and movie tie-ins and the like. They, yeah, like uh, you know, Time Cop for the NES. They just it's just that no one remembers them now. Yeah, <laughs> that stuff. <laughs> Wait, Time Cop? Oh my god! I never played it. Serious. I just heard about it. That's awful. <laughs> 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 Why would anyone play that abomination? Yeah. We should get back over here. Like our armies are basically like strung out in a line. <laughs> <laughs> Just one long line. Oh, I can spawn another giant dragon. Some of some more interesting stuff. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh no. There'd be dudes in our base. The game is slightly kind with the AI for Battleforge. Um, they will often stop um, attacking monuments yeah, in favor of dudes that. when you spawn units to like protect your stuff. Which is which is actually a nice touch. Yeah, like, I appreciate that. Um, are they dead yet? Yes, yes they are. I was having an interesting conversation earlier about um, yeah. like violent games and how it sort of like so the idea being that you know you take the holodeck right imagine you've got a holodeck would it be like way worse you know because you know, people are bad about like realistic violence in games now but when yeah. it's sort of full 3D and all around you will people <laughs> be even crazier about it or will they just sort of not mind it so much it's a strange thought like what will games be like? And what, what that? How long will it take them to develop them? Because like, when you've got like an entire, you know, 
full yeah. five senses experience to build. Oh have you crap! It? Yes, we have. Up here. <laughs> Send everything there. It's the nearest thing I can summon. Dragons are fast. Let's use a dragon. Also, it's an excuse to use a dragon. I do love how this game is just monsters, dragons, giant yeah. clockwork robots. All the, you know, all the really cool stuff. Because it can. I love it, I love it when games yeah. just do stuff because they can. Um, because it's awesome. And then, so often am I disappointed <laughs> when they just completely fail. <laughs> I, my two like dragons never are clipping into each other, that so it looks like it has four wings. Oh yeah. <laughs> Especially yeah. with a smaller dragon on the head as well. It looks like something out of Final Fantasy, yeah, like a boss a out of Final Fantasy. Spin dragon. <laughs> yeah. I never actually played any oh of the Final Fantasy. Oh god, you have to. I mean, I played one. I've played one JRPG. I played part of six, <laughs> and then does, does this upset you? Part of twelve, and I'm gonna finish twelve one day. Just. I know some of the music from Final Fantasy VI, um, but only because the one-ups <laughs> covered it. <laughs> yeah. Like you know, you know the one-ups. Those guys. I love them. I should listen to the Black band. Mages. Final well, Fantasy, hey, podcast really. or another band? <laughs> I'm obsessed with Final Fantasy. Well, not obsessed to the point that I write fanfics and stuff. Oh no, that would that would just be far too. <laughs> I've never done that, honestly. No. Well, no, I have. Um, we had, <laughs> there was one girl on my no, it, um, roleplay forum who was wanting to join, and she had her own custom character. Um, for those who listen to this and have played Seven, will probably cringe. Um, she basically her character was the child of Vincent Valentine and Lucrezia Crescent. And when she grew up, she slept with Cloud and wanted to have his baby and all that. So. Pretty yeah, uh, sick. <laughs> yeah, well, is it? Yeah, it's, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it just is. It's not very good. <laughs> I'm all for I'm all for expressing creativity through writing. <laughs> that was just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fan fan fiction. I, I kind of like it is. It is a bit depressing how much Mary Sue's and goes <laughs> on in the lands of fanfic. But on the other hand, you know, it's a form of escapism, I guess. I don't know. I've never really been, never really been one to write or read fanfic, to be honest. Apart from sort of yeah. amusing <laughs> fanfic, yeah, <laughs> you know, like that. Yeah, that's always that's always quite fun for some time wasting. I, do, I love messing around in the forge. Like this, this game yeah. is the best menu ever. I'm just, I'm just, just summoning units and watching them fight. It's like, who would win in a fight between X and Y? <laughs> Let's find out. What happens if you drop a soul shatter on 13 units of wind weavers? Let's find out. Hint, they all die. Um, it's good for, like, practicing combos yeah, and spells. Yeah, I miss the interactive loading screen. Nice. I wish more games, games had menus like this. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they stopped doing that. I love when, ga I love when games have, have, like... Go we have the horsepower to do it now, like, better. And, like... Assassin's Creed, you can run around and stuff, yeah, it really but did. not a lot of modern games do that, and we kind of—I'd kind of like to see more of that. Yeah, totally with you there. I mean, I—I I, I also like it when you get so that there was there was some game that um, I downloaded. I forget its name, um, which had a thing where actually I've seen a few games do this, so, but it, it had a thing where. The background to the main menu, which you know, just sort of zoomed oh, out wow. and became the first level, or rather the intro. I love it when games do that. Does stuff like that just sort of yeah. take you right in? It's it's just really extra yeah. immersive. You know what I mean? Like you just you press new game and you're straight there. 
no no loading screen, no disconnect. Yeah, I can't remember. Just straight there. I know um, I've played I think a couple I, games that I, love games that, but I can't like that. remember what they were. Yeah, me neither. Um, sadly, that in this particular <laughs> example, the rest of the game was kind of rubbish. Like, <laughs> just wasn't very good. Um, awkward controls, awkward puzzle design, and awkward characterization. Was like, oh, nope, sorry, <laughs> no thank you. I like demos for that though because, like, demos you can just you know you download the demo and then you play it for literally a minute and you stop and that's perfectly yeah. fine because it's a demo. I I have done that on numerous occasions. You just know it's not for you and you, you stop. I miss the ga days when uh, games came with demo discs in like PlayStation <gasps> magazine. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> um. Feels so old now. <laughs> You don't really need that though, do you? Like, I well, mean, now I we have the liked internet. it. Cool. I mean, cool as that was, it forced yeah. you to buy the well, magazine. Actually, I bought the, the magazine demo. for the demo disc. I didn't even care about it. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Like paying for demos. I mean, I guess they would always put in like other yeah. software as well. But then you grow up and realize, oh, actually, it's free. <laughs> like the software is just freeware off the internet. <laughs> They've downloaded for us. I guess in the days of like having. Rubbish bandwidth they made a difference. Just I think my favourite demo there. disc had yeah. to be it, it used to have um, I don't know if you've heard of the game, it had Tomby on it. Oh was... yes, I'm actually I'm thinking about I... writing a review for the second one. See I've never played the second one. I've I've got the first one. It's like it really? was like how much was That's it? About like... fifty, sixty pound I think. Yeah. It's that, really rare. That <laughs> So I've got that somewhere. That's why I can't I've... buy. Uh, I can't buy Final oh. Fantasy VII because it's like forty dollars. Oh, is that for the PC version? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, there was a PC version. Apparently, it's rubbish though. You might as well just get it on PS2 if you've got a PS2. I think Final Fantasy IX's rare. Some. Well, it was when I tried to get it anyway, but I didn't have the internet. Uh, back then, but back in the day. <laughs> back in the day. Dial up. <laughs> I was talking about that earlier as well. I remember when? It's, yeah, it's weird to think that, that was like ten years ago, if that. It's like, yeah, eight, eight years ago or something. And you know, you sit there. You okay? I want to go on the internet. First, make sure no one's going to use the phone oh, for the next hour or so. <laughs> and then you sit there and you open up like AOL. Cause, cause my my dad always my dad you know you know how AOL yeah. would always send you like yeah. spam discs. My dad used so many of them, just like use the free internet and then cancel it. He did that so much <laughs> they stopped sending you spam discs. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah, you, you oh. remember that sound that dial up had to use as it connected? Uh, they that wasn't actually oh yeah. the real like they didn't have to use that sound, but someone came up with it and used it. Yeah, like well, someone had really? to. I, I thought it was. Yeah. The, I thought it was like they're just playing sort of tones, this, the, like the sound of it yeah, basically I, communicating yeah, down the phone line. That's what it was. But this some making noise person like created it just to have sound when you were connecting. Could have, could have picked something yeah. better than that. Really? Huh. I know it's a pain in the ass too because it's so <laughs> loud. So when you like, it could have been worse. I mean, and try to play games while you're trying, while you're yeah. supposed to be asleep. It's like. <laughs> 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 Echoes, do that again. <laughs> I want that to be my message tone. <laughs> That's just awesome. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, are we done recording or? And on that bombshell, I was gonna say I we should call it there. We yeah, call it there. we played a couple I gotta missions. go shopping today. Uh, done some done some oh. banter. <laughs> oh yeah, of course yeah. you're in Canada. Like here, it's like ten to ten. It's like surely everything's shut. <laughs> Where are you gonna go shopping? The kebab van? <laughs> Which, by the way, is a totally legitimate source of food when you're a student, um, like me. Yeah, no, I, I think I think this has been a very yeah. enjoyable yeah. and successful first multiplayer for you know 
So, 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 so we, so we improvise some kind of ending um. spiel. Like, this has been multiplayer by Giga Gamers, brought to you by <laughs> Giga Gamers again. I don't know. I guess we should yeah. probably figure yeah. that out before the next one, right? We could maybe decide. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's call it there. <laughs>